Let's jump to here with part 8 of my Thrones of Britannia Let's Play campaign as, um, we're still called Danelaw, right? Yeah, Danelaw. But it's Northumbra. Alright, so, I'm still just gonna label it in the titles as Northumbra. It's the same shit, really. Uh, okay, so previously we've got the various Viking invasions, so the, that's the Normans. And we've got Danes up here. Now, as for the Normans, they are basically defeated. Six of their eight armies have been wiped out. One of them f tried, thought that they could take on this settlement here by themselves. Even though they had backup nearby, they were just like, oh, we'll do it anyway. And they got fucking annihilated. And so in response, they're like, all right, we'll send two, uh, two fleets in there. And yeah, I wasn't going to have, I wasn't standing a chance on that one. But the problem for them now is that I have six armies in the area, and they only have two. And they have no means by which to recruit new armies, since they've only just landed. And I've already taken one settlement off them, and we're going to come here very soon. So, as for them, they're out. They're just, they're out. Forget about them. Now, this one over here, this is a more peculiar situation. And I didn't think that this was possible, but it showed up, and I was like, oh, let's see if this works. So, these guys showed up. And I've, like I said, I've dealt with the Viking invasion before in early access. You know, people often say to me, you know, I shouldn't judge the game that I barely played. I did not barely play it. Um, I played it for 20 hours, but I've, I, I tell you, me playing it right now, nothing has changed really. I tell you what's changed. It's you don't make as much money, you don't make as much food in the early game, but the end game's the fucking same, which is fine. The end game's fine. Um, <coughs> but anyway, so they came in here, and I had prepared. But they got one settlement, and that's fine. You can't protect these minor settlements, really. They took the settlement, so I had some guys waiting here, ready to go. And I took this, and the option to subjugate them was available. And so I did. I subjugated them. And now, they're my bitch. They're literally my vassal. And they can't get out of it, because I dragged them into a bunch of wars, which, they, you know, they, they just can't get out of. They're at war with the Normans. They're at war with... I dragged them into war with basically all of Scotland. Um, and so they're out there fighting them now. So they're my vassal. And uh, the other ones showed up... You know, a Viking invasion that showed up the east side of Ireland. Um, we, we have yet to see them. So these guys here, they are dead because they thought they would fortify instead of run away. They, they couldn't catch up. I couldn't get away. So, the, the campaign's won, obviously. I mean, we, we already got the short and long campaign victories. My skills are growing. Enemy blood will flow. Alright. To greater plunder. Now, I've got... I've got to see these things here to worry. It's just estates. The, probably the stupidest mechanic they've ever come up with. Um, but it has potential, you know? They, they could still fix this. But it's been six months. It's been more than six months now, and they just sort of haven't. Right, we lost another governor, so let's see. This guy's a born governor. Let's pop him in. He's only 22 years old. Let's pop him in Middle Engle. And he'll certainly need some thieves. No, not thieves, what are called? Estates. So I'm down to three now. Is that. F yeah, we're good. And Guthrum is still alive. G Guthrum or Guthrid? What is it? Yeah, yes, I think it's called Guthrid of this, but I've known him as Guthrum. We'll see this through. I don't know which is correct. Oh, stop, stop, stop. And what are we researching again? That's right, we're going for upgraded swordsmen. Cool, cool, cool. Money's been fluctuating Hello, around a fair bit. I'm not too concerned about that. Um, I would love to occupy that, but it just depends if they're going to go at it. It doesn't bother me too much if they take it. Just, um, the main thing here is just keep them busy while I sort out this shit here. And then I can bring my full force over to them. I think I might finalize the conquest here, 
And if that's the case, I'm going to need some armies. Actually, that's what I should do with these guys. Bring them down here. And just sit here. I'll bring two, bring these two armies down here. And we'll capture this. Because I don't want to be at war with them and be sailing out in the ocean. That's oh, the sea. That's not good. I think Dublin's back over here. Yeah, they are. Oh, well. Alright, so... Let's get started with this. Most of the money that we've made in this campaign has been due to snacking, so we kind of do need to do that. You shouldn't stay in there. Enemy blood will flow. Our foes should Just stay there in case they want to run away back to here. I don't know. But yeah, the the Normans are doomed. Don't need this. Okay, I think that's all we need to do this turn. I'd like to see if I could finish uh, d with um, long uh, kingdom victory and see if it changes from Dane Law to. Uh, what would it be called? Norse Empire? It's not really an empire. Norse. Kingdom of Norse? Denmark? I don't know what it would be called. Because obviously England is the historical name of what, what did show up. But. That's because the Anglo-Saxons essentially won. Depends on which way you want to argue it. Oh, just out of range. Yeah, just out of range. Oh well. We pledge our service. We're about to dock. Slow speed for docking. So yeah, we get ready over here to to finalize the conquest. I'll probably fight them at the same time because we're supremely strong right now. We'll see this through. <sighs> see, they get the extra garrison bonuses as well. All right. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to we're going to besiege the settlement because if they want to hide there, good for them. I'm going to get all the upgrades I can first. Who's going to do this? Where's Guthrum? Guthrid. Where is he? I think he's here. Yeah. Guth Guthfrid. I want you to besiege the settlement. If they want to come out and fight us on the field, fine. Alright. It says it's even, but once we've got siege equipment, that may change. We'll see this through. Should have come up this way, and having another army popping in to help may be pretty useful. Slow speed for docking. Leave your ships. But you'll stay here and protect the settlement since it's badly damaged. Actually, you shouldn't stay in the settlement because I'm just I run the risk of getting you killed. 
God, his youngest son is 50 years old. Damn. Damn, he lived a long time. I like that. I like it when my, you know, my kings live a long time. But I think I've just been lucky. Enemy blood will flow. Who they didn't? Who's that? Good. So hopefully, yeah. So our guys are well. Our our vassalized Vikings that are out here causing havoc. Great. Let them let them do that. Hopefully they get some of their armies wiped out, and this is less problem for me to deal with. Okay, we got heaps of coin. Let's see what we can invest into. Heaps of coin, heaps of like just rolling it. That's because we get increased tax rates. Which seems to be okay, but I'd prefer to keep it on normal. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, there's a big difference with that. We need to find ways to increase our income. It might be because the trade income got hammered down so much. Wait, how, how much does food go down? Okay, fair bit. Maybe I need to leave it on that tax route. There's so much corruption that I can't really deal with in most of these settlements. You know, most of them only make 19% of their base income. This tends to make a lot of money. Grab that. There's also not much food here. So, we, sh we should build one of these. We don't desperately need cash. But yeah, this province here does not make much food. Okay, I don't want to spend too much money. That'll do. If you wish to survive, accept our offer of peace. No. It's your choice. See, I want them. If I go to with them, so do so does that, and I want them to keep fighting and losing their armies. Once the Normans have been dealt with, I'm pretty sure that Dane will head head north because they're splitting their forces up now to come deal with the Normans as well. Oh, they wouldn't actually sell the ad against us. Alright then. Alright, it's gonna be a big ass battle. Oh, they've got. They're gonna land naval troops as well. Interesting. Alright, let's do it. Okay, all of our reinforcements are going to pop from here, so we need to make sure that this is where we, this is where we stand and fight, right around here. They'll be getting their reinforcements close by as well. That way we can shift units out, as we as we see fit, if we absolutely have to. Okay, we should leave these guys well in reserve because the first thing they're going to start doing is shooting at us. Ready for war. Go 
we'll see how we go with this. Wipe them from history. Look on the horizon. Reinforcements. So be it. Their missiles could hit us here. Oh, good. Ready for war. We're in the base. It will be done. We agree. All Thanks. All right. We've got Norman knights coming in here. Which is fine because they got spears. Let's just wait for them to come in first. I, I think they're I think they're in. What a bunch of idiots. Why would you sacrifice some of your best units early on like this? Stop firing, stop firing. Oh, oh shit. All good. Let's battle commence, Bowman. Seem to be having lag. God, they got destroyed. That is not a good start for them. They're trying to attack me before I'm before I'm properly organized. But they're not organized themselves. Do they have any cavalry left? Uh, they got a little bit, nothing major. I may have too many spears. Still got more reinforcements, which is why we want to stay close to here. We can shift our damaged units for fresh ones. So these guys here have excellent shield block. Putting them up front here and in and in. Um, Shield castle, it should basically make them immune to from being shot. So they might want to prioritize shooting the generals. It'd be a, it'd be a complete waste. Battle orders! Archers! Up the pace, man! Let battle commence! Thanes! Pick your targets, man! Their missiles could hit us here! Hasten yourselves! Wipe them from history! One volley over here should be fine. Actually, okay. Yeah, they don't seem to have any more cavalry. I could pretend like this was a no cavalry challenge, but truth be told, I just didn't feel like they're that, that useful. That being said, I also I did actually recruit cavalry, just not in this battle. See, they flee 
before our might. Wipe them from history. So far, we're gonna shoot our own fucking men there. Huskarls here. Yeah, they're they're a good one to shoot. Shoot them. And that's it. That's one of their generals. Skirmish the pirate already here at the moment. Our general is under attack. It's okay, he's in he's in Shield Castle. Keep these guys in reserve. Shadow them. Fire on them. See, they flee before our might. Archers! Quicken the pace! Good so far. So far, so good. None of our units are broken, and they've lost quite a few already. We're in, we're in excellent shape. Alright, we got crossbows over here. We need to get rid of them. We got another husk girl here. He's he's taking damage. Let's 
guys. Okay, what I need is for these guys to sort of squeeze through here, get around their flanks and help. Coming in here, Flemish crossbows. Uh, don't do that. Don't do. It. Don't worry about that. Is that just wreckers? The men have been routed. They are leaving the field. Okay. Get back over here. Our flank is starting to crumble a little bit. I'm gonna just send them into here, they'll, they'll turn them into men, I hope. Get back a bit and shoot those normal male spearmen. Okay, I need to... We got plenty of troops over here, but I'm really, really struggling here. Now we're starting to take damage. Okay, we got Flemish crossbowmen over here. They need to be shot. You, you just leave the battlefield. You're done now. All right, I want to get the two backup generals over here to smash the rear of these Norman spears. It's a rout. Our warriors flee the battle. I mean, I already told them to leave, so. Yeah. It's okay. It's just the spears. I'm pretty sure that's only like one morale. It really doesn't make a big difference. Our troops over here are really struggling. They're getting a bit overwhelmed. Okay, these have run out of ammo. Make it just run off the battlefield. You're done now. Oh wait, these are our generals. Send some more backup troops. Like, we're doing well here, but it's over here where they're overwhelming us. We need some reinforcements. Like, we're, we're slaughtering over here, but it's just, it's lopsided. All of their forces are here, and all of our forces are here. Uh, so, we've got reinforcements coming in. Actually, it's kind of good. We can wrap around them from here. I guess if I use you to cycle charge, I just really don't want them to die, obviously.
Yeah, so we don't have any more re uh, reinforcements coming from here. Generals are ripping it up over there. These two are done. Get them out of here. soon. Okay, we got we got more garbage spears coming in. They got more troops coming in as well, but it takes them longer to get here. Okay, we are getting really bad frame rate. This is not <laughs> well optimized. I get I think I can get more men on Warhammer 2 on the battlefield with with better frame rates and they got some they got some you know big entities as well some of them i think we've won they they're just collapsing now for the most part Try to get around the back of him here. And we'll smash him one good. I really want to... Okay, I want to pull him out now. The other one's barely taking any damage. So it's fine. I don't know. You come around the flank here. He took a fair bit of damage getting out, but he didn't die, so that's that's the most important thing. Let's go here. Stay there in uh, Shield Castle. Get in there. What are these anyway? Helmet archers. Chase them off. Get 
get him out. He's had enough, I think. He got a he got a nice number of kills. But yeah, I'm not looking for him to die. So I'll get him out of there. Take some damage when they try to get out. Rouse, that's what I want to see. And we're just going to run them down. Let's chuck a, a uh, flame shot in there. It might help break them a little bit more. The enemy are on us. Our souls will fall. Our foes have surprised us. Battle orders. It's a rout! Our warriors flee the battle! Okay, quit that. Okay, it looks like what's what's left is just loads of archers. See? They flee before our might! Okay, no, it's okay. They're they're fleeing like crazy. No more shooting. For me. I'm just really concerned these, of these guys here dying. Yeah, we won. The ocean favors us. Victory is ours. Make sure you kill as many of them as possible. You're not going to get any kills on them. Overall, that seemed to go pretty well. Maybe one. They can't get any replenishment because it's under siege. I mean, I can't either. Actually, I'll be able to take on captives, won't I? So I'll get some. Alright, that'll do. So, maybe that one. Yeah, that, that one there is wiped out. This one here is a maybe. Here. They lost both their armies. Mm. No, that's their garrison, but they lost both of their armies. So I lost those two. I lost three units. And um, my hero, my, my generals lived though. Alright then, cool. Uh, we'll be wiping them out this turn. Take that, My money. abilities have been boosted. Our foes will suffer. Yes, indeed. Now we'll see. Attack. Agreed. Fucking neighbors, they fucking put on their damn loud music. Hope you guys can't hear it. Our foes should fall. Strike now! Moving out. Smash them! I could subjugate them, but I think one. One filthy vassal is enough. Massacre them! We will. Our souls shall fall! Finish the job, and that should be the end of the Normans. Yep. Cool. 
And I don't think they come back. We'll see this through. We pledge your service. We'll see this through. Advance, man! So I believe he lost one of these units, but I'd much much prefer like grabbing Well the mailed swordsman. Alright, let's see how they compare to the other ones. So we have Danelaw mailed sword swordsmen. So we've got less experience. So they got more armor. They have less morale, but that may be due to um, experience. Alright, let's see what this one goes up to from in terms of melee skill. Oh, yeah, it goes up by two. Get a difference of it going up this way. Yeah, so they're, they're slightly better, but they're not like they're not magnificent. Actually, their upkeep cost is pretty extreme. Enemy blood will flow. Yeah, hang on. Oh no, it's not that bad. Okay, never mind. So what's the problem here? Do I have too many estates? Yes, I do. This guy here's only got one. Is there anyone else here that's only got one? This guy's just got two. Alright, that's sorted out the, the problems. Cool, so the south, we're, we're, we're done. Let's head back up here now and clean up Wales. I don't think I'll bother landing in Ireland. Hang on, stay simple. We are men, not gods. Our foes shall fall. You can rely on us! Cool, cool, cool. So this this province here got fucked up, but it's still but it's public order is still alright, and it'll repair on its own over time. Alright, can we justify dropping the taxes? Probably not, but let me just check. We'd lose 4,000 a turn, but our food is fine. Let's just disband some armies now that doesn't seem like we desperately need it. Alright, so I'm just keen to just let the... Let these guys spread out over here and just see how they do. And I'll just grab whatever I can. Alright, so yeah, we got the we got the Berserkers replacing Shield Biters and the Danelaw mailed swordsman replacing Sword Hosier. Right, let's uh, improve the archers. Because the ones we have, they just they just plain out and suck. Yeah, I would really like the tech to get done a bit faster. Our service. I see I had six armies down here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's all accounted for. I got 50 grand in the bank. I don't really see the need to build anything right now. Our foes shall fall. We will bring fear. So I got these berserkers. Apparently they're really good. I'll just casually take whatever I, whatever I can, but nothing. I'm not gonna focus too much on it. Like the main pur purpose of this war here is to get their forces down. And if they end up conquering like the whole thing, well then, I don't know. I guess we'll worry about that when we get to it. They'll never get stronger than me.
Public order is good, so we can justify upgrading this. I mean, we're making fuck all money here. This, however, does reduce the cost of construction. It's not really a big deal. Okay, we're done for this turn. Moving on. So it will take us a little while just to, you know, recover from all those findings, but they went down pretty easily. You know, for an end game crisis, they went down pretty easy. Of course, the Norman invasion is about, I don't know, 150 years too early. I reckon a good DLC for this would actually be the Norman invasion. I do another, just another campaign. I mean, they could always just make another Total War saga for, you know, the 1066 invasion of, um, of England. By the Normans. And, you know, include Normandy. Sort of... You know, sort of like the Medieval 2 tutorial, sort of. I mean, that's only got like two settlements in it, but still. Still a better campaign than Thrones of Britannia. Not really. The, the, uh... The Norman Invasion tutorial is... is it's, it is just that. It's just a tutorial. There's nothing spectacular about it. But Medieval 2, though, that's a, that's a spectacular game. We pled your service. And, you know, as I've said before, I, it, you know, I don't look at it through, you know, rose-tinted glasses because that's nostalgia is for something that you, you know, oh, you know, I remember back in the day, you know, I used to play Medieval One because that's that is the thing is with Medieval One, it is nostalgia because I don't play Medieval One anymore, but I have consistently over the past twelve years played Medieval Two. I don't think there's been like a single year between 2006 and 2018 where Medieval 2 went unplayed on my computers. So nostalgia does oh you're just you just nostalgia for it. It doesn't it doesn't work. Enemy blood will flow. Attack. Massacre them. Sure, once we've built the equipment here, it'll be fine. Are they all so yeah, we can see our allies here have three armies. So they're supposed to have eight. Let's see if we can... No, no, seven, because we destroyed one of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. One of them may have been killed. Seven. There it is. Okay, so they they haven't lost any armies against them yet, which is fine. Is there anything else we want to do? I don't think we're good. Uh, looking at public order, there's a few regions that have bad public order, but for the most part, it's all pretty hunky dory. Uh, be careful with that. If I if I if there's a fluctuation with trade or something like that, because a lot of money is being made through trade, then I go bankrupt. So those two will just hang out here so we're ready to make the attack. Actually, there's no reason why we can't get this. I don't know. Kind of funny how I'm just like throwing an in-game crisis at the AI, using their own bullshit against them. All right, I'm just gonna pause the recording for a minute. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So, just finish this, and so now I've got access to the armored archers. Let's keep doing research. Uh, 
Um, just so, just checking over here. If we declare war, we've got two armies here that are ready to to fight back, I suppose. All right, let's do this now then. We will bring you glory. The settlement. Well, they got slaves. That's fine. Enemy blood will flow. If I call my allies, if I call them in, they will not show up. I have to join war. It's the only way. That way they don't get a choice. I hope you will not try my patience today. Not a deal I would have. So now when we look at... Difflin. We didn't drag our vassal in, but that's fine. Because if I, if I make them decide, they'll choose to just attack me. Capture that next turn. All right. Hopefully they don't decide to come attack here. But they've been kicked out of the mainland. That's good. Out of mainland Ireland, I mean. Okay, we are almost done. All right, moving on. Ah, oh, shit, forgot to move them. It's alright, we can manage. It's alright, that's no big deal. It's lucky he's here to sort this out. Still, and still, Guthfrid is not dead. What is he, immortal? Enemy blood will flow. Are they all Good victory for us there. Shitloads of money with which we can invest in our other regions. For the old Success is rewarded. Our foes shall fall. For glory. So a second Irish long port has fallen. Difflin is taking decisive action, uniting all the Vikings in Ireland against the menace posed by the Gales. What? Um, I don't think it means anything. I say just demolish that. What happened to the... Oh look, he annexed his vassal. That would also mean that this has like no garrison here. Bad timing, for them. Yeah. Shit timing for you, dude. And they made it easier for me. You can rely on us. 
Macho! Glory awaits us! We'll pledge our service! Hurry along! Alright, I think I have got too many estates again. Yep. Alright, looking for anyone who's got less than three. So, our heir, he can have another one. There's one here. Okay, that should sort it. He's only going to take a little bit of attrition, it should be fine. Enemy blood will flow! Okay, just to keep track of their armies. One, two, three, four, five, six. Who's this? I don't know, maybe one of their armies got. Hang on. Three, four, five, six. Where's their seventh? I mean, it's good if it gets wiped out, but I don't know where it is. Alright, let's spend a little bit of the money and then move on to the next turn. Okay, this province here makes a decent amount of cash, and its public order is reasonable. Because it has a governor, he's 60 years old, but he's got, there's no corruption here. So, upgrading... Hmm. Just thinking, if he dies, public order might go to shit. Why is the allegiance here bad? The usurpers, how have they got any influence there at all? With two iron mines here, you can essentially have free upkeep units in the in the area, maybe, I don't know. Almost free upkeep. Actually, it might actually be upkeep if you add in the technology levels. You know what? I might actually upgrade that. And I think I'll demolish... No, I'm not going to do anything there. Don't need this anymore. From public order, go to the church. And let's move on. Good. Yeah, where does in the warpath we'll now? Steamrolling. You ask the impossible. Eager and willing. Our foes will suffer moving out. Eager for war. So I believe that's their last settlement. After that, they are out of here. 
I don't want to stand in Ireland, so... It's just Irish rebels there. Um, Sir, 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 no, whatever, is here. Scotland. But I don't think... Like, all I need to do is take out the, the, uh, the Viking invaders. Like, one of them showed up over here somewhere. Is that them? They're just called Norse. I think that's them. So if we have a look here, complete any of the long campaign and eliminate the Viking invasion fleets. So if we have a look at diplomacy, how many factions are left? So we just organize it via strength. So Norse is the next strongest. So it's these two here. So they've got four regions. Apparently they've got nine. Yeah, because look at them, they've captured heaps of loads of shit. Well, uh, I'll finalize the conquest here, and then we'll bring our armies up north to, to smash them. Yeah, I've got another religious one to give away. Okay, I think that's just about sorted them out. What's your problem? No, I just leave it there. Yeah, see, so he's got the estate's low panel. No, 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 no. So anyone who's got under two, so Wolfric. There you go. No more wandering for you. Not a public order here, but it might be due to the fact that there's lots of generals. Okay, let's move on. Ugh, I kind of just want the campaign to end, but... Like... In order for, the, for me to rush the campaign to conclusion, I have to also play badly. Because there's there's conquest down here that kind of should be done. Because I don't want to, I don't want to like send all my armies up north to fight the Vikings. And then these guys declare war on me, and I have nothing down here to defend it. So better just to clean this up now. And them taking all these settlements out here, it doesn't actually make them stronger, but actually makes them weaker. Because when they're just a bunch of armies roaming around, they're hard to track down and kill. But when they've got a large amount of er territory, they spread out. Think of it this way, a, uh, a clenched butt cheek is harder to fuck than a spread butt cheek. And what they're doing right now is they're spreading their butt cheeks wide open. Yeah, <laughs> too much information. We'll see this through. For victory, onward to glory. We'll pledge our service. Let's go. Should be able to reach them next turn. I mean, if he can reach them. Yeah, he does, it doesn't matter too much about it. Oh, he took a bit of attrition. Yeah. Oh, well, we, sh we should still manage. They don't have much here. And then we need to get ready to attack these guys, and then we're, we're going up that way. As for my armies out here... We just sit by and watch. If any of these territories get taken, we take it straight back. If not, don't worry about it. Okay, I don't want to hang around here. Now we'll see. Okay, the public order here is absolutely shite, so let's just fix it up before we leave. It's really good for public order, and it actually makes some money. What else you got for me? Public order and money. 
Okay. The Allegiant stuff should be rapidly moving towards us. Yeah. Cool. And let's move on. Don't worry, buddy. I'll come and sort out your rebellion for you, because I'm a good friend. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to keep the settlement. My prowess increases. You can rely on us. Rely on us. Wonder how much they're paying me in tribute now. Damn. Such a stupid bug that I managed to vassalize them like that. It's sort of like when you vassalize the the Byzantine Empire in oh, the Eastern Roman Empire in Total War Attila. It almost always yields twenty five thousand a turn, which is the cap. Um, it's because and it probably usually happens on legendary difficulty because they get so much base income, right? And they almost always get smashed. They end up being filthy, filthy rich. They have like a million in the bank. And because they get money off their interest, 5% of a million is, you know, 50,000, and you get a portion of their income. Once their income, you know, just, just gets ridiculous and you couldn't possibly spend all the money, you just, it's just, it just spirals out of control. You can rely on us. Smash them. Oh, wow, well, they're badly damaged. Alright, I want you to do that one on, on your own there. Could vassalize some of them. My prowess increases! Our foes shall fall. Oh, we've achieved long victory. Your faction is now called the North Sea Empire. Right. And whatever the bonuses are now. Okay, so it went up to an extra public order, extra influence, extra morale, and extra income. Right, that's good. You know, I don't think it can go up any higher than that. So we're now no longer Dane Lord, we're the North Sea Empire. Right. Our foe shall fall. Fine by me. We're ready. Enemy blood will flow. Let's go. Hurry along. Now, I'm pretty sure these guys are making plans to, to land here, so I need to make sure that if they do land, I'm right here waiting for them. We'll see this through for victory! Onward to glory! March off! Service. So in terms of the victory conditions, right? We've done the, the the kingdom ones and the conquest ones. We haven't done the fame ones because the one of St. Edmund is here. So if we build that up, that will actually give us the short fame victory. We don't make much cash yet. Okay, we have less corruption. Why? Ah, because of this. Yeah, I really don't like building them. And let's move on to the next turn.
I have achieved greater rank. Alright, cool. Now we're going to take these guys out here. So looking at that, who are their enemies? They have no enemies. Now if I declare war on them... What the fuck? Uh, if I declare war on them, there's a high chance that our vassal will betray us. And that's fine, I'm ready to deal with that now. Because these guys... I mean, I'm not really ready to deal with it. Whatever, they're, they're still fighting out here. They're not just going to turn around and come and fight us here. If you speak true, I will listen. Do not okay, they actually joined in. We'll see this through. Strike now! Yes, indeed. Enemy blood will flow. For glory! We're about to dock. You can rely on us! Strike! Now! Soon, but not just yet. Advance! Bloody attrition. We'll pledge our service! Marching formation! Attack! They certainly caught them with their pants down, though, by wiping out one of their armies. Ready for combat. Okay, so we got some agricultural ones to give away. Let's see, three, 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 three two. Good. Sorted. Alright, so we've now got access to better archers. Should we go on further? So this will give us missile range for missile units. That's pretty useful. But it, oh, it only increases the upkeep cost for missile infantry. See, that actually provides a bonus, whereas this is just like, oh yeah, upkeep but reduced recruitment cost. So I like that. Professional archers. And then that gives us access to even better archers. I don't think I'll grab that though. Alright, I got heaps of cash. Let's see how everyone's faring. Can I drop this down? Yes, we can. Okay, I'm actually making cash. It doesn't matter if we're not actually making a lot of money. Most of our income comes from... Uh, looting anyway. We don't have anyone down there. I really do need to fix it up. What the hell's going on here? This is buildings. Wasn't I going to demolish this? I just forgot about it. Like, that's just minus... Yeah, minus 10. You gotta... And look how little amount of money we're making here. Although it does give us extra income from tin buildings, or regions. 25 as opposed to 25. Yeah, that actually would be better. Hmm, don't need fucking straws here. I'm surprised there hasn't been a revolt. I'll keep an eye on this. We certainly want to build something to, to negate this public order garbage. If I exempt it from taxation, it's a low chance of... It, does, it doesn't increase the chances by much. Uh, upgrading this will provide one extra public order. Doesn't really seem worth it. Let's just demolish this and we'll see how we go from there. Moving on.
I have achieved greater rank. All right, knock that down again. Our foe shall fall. Show us the foe. Thunder and clothing. Four armies assisting. All good. No, I pressed the wrong thing. Shit. Oh, God damn it, no. Fuck. My bad. Shit. Do not think of it. Off on that Okay, so we've gone to war with these guys now, and that's absolutely fine by me. We'll pledge our service. Can't be done. Now we'll see. Okay, cool, cool. We gotta straight away get out one of their armies. Bring them down from six, down to five, maybe. I mean, they're still fighting up there. They're actually doing really well. But they've left all these empty regions for us to go and ca capture now. And they've barely got anyone out here to stop us. We did lose a lot of income because they were obviously they were providing us with with income through trade and whatnot. But it's fine. I'm probably considered hugely unreliable there. That was that was a huge mistake. Yeah, unreliable. I, I don't care anymore. It's like I can take on everyone now. Accidentally clicked liberate. We will bring fear. Liberate my ass. Oh shit. You can rely on us. Not possible. To war we go. Never. Okay, he he won't be able to get past there anyway. Oh, he might. We serve to the end. It'll be right. It sucks about this though. Foes shall fall. Hard. Yes. We pledge your service. Okay, so over here, yeah, that's still going on. Right, I think we picked up some more estates. Okay, let's go from the bottom up this time. He's got two. All right, let's sort it out. I think that's all I need to do, right? Has an agricultural estate. Why is that minus two? The what the what the fuck? Be weirdo. Oh yes, I don't want estates. But if I don't give estates, be like, I don't have enough estates. Inconsistent shits. Alright, since we're hemorrhaging cash at the moment, let's not build up. Oh, hang on. Um, over here, just power a guy. You can sort it out. Same here. Real Got those little ones there. And let's move on.
Hmm. If I besiege this, then they'll be they'll be able to stop me. Glory awaits us. We will. That's all I want him to do. We'll see this through. All right, so they're sending three armies down this way. Maybe, maybe these guys will push them back a little bit now. Hard to say, but I can't justify besieging that. What I can do. Glory awaits us. Yeah, get over to Get over to here. We will bring fear. Okay, he won't be able to catch up to us, so we're, we're safe here. Alright, public order here is much more stable now. I keep forgetting to build up. up. Yeah, we just want to make sure no revolt happens here, because these guys need to get back. Okay, yeah, that's fine. We've got to be careful sailing around there, I don't... In fact, let me just see if... They probably won't accept the peace treaty, but let me just see if they will. What dark business brings Yeah, because I'm unreliable as I attack a vassal. The sea awaits. Enemy blood will flow. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I'm not cl clicking. Do not click liberate this time. Okay, we'll don't do it. Occupy. See, I'm used to it being there. We will bring you glory. Ready for battle. Enemy blood will flow. To greater blunder. Okay, we need to attack these guys. Enemy blood will flow. I gotta get get all my guys together first, so just come meet here. My warriors are ready. Fit and ready. Onward to glory. You ask the impossible. Oh this yeah, because I sacked it so many times, I actually have to repair it this time. Fine. Alright, who's got problems? You've got problems? Why? Estate's low. Okay. Uh, he's only got two. Alright, well, let's give him a new one. There he is. Ooh, at this rate here, I'll run out of money real quick. So yeah, be very careful. Mm. Two, two of my armies versus all of them. That's a bit of a concern. Didn't I? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This one over here. Our foes shall fall. Bring that. Rely on us. Good. At the very least, that provides us with a bit of money to. Have. I don't. I don't want to increase the tax rate. If I can sack a region every turn, I'll make enough to pay it all off. Well, what do you know, there might actually be an episode... Well, there'll definitely be an episode 9, because we're almost at an hour and a half here. I was worried they were going to attack one of my armies. That was actually the best case scenario where they did that. Oh, 
Again, they made a mistake. Mm, actually, no. Because here's the thing. I could destroy this army here. I could. But then I'm sandwiched between these two forces here. And I wouldn't be able to beat that. So we can see four of their armies. You, however, made a giant poo poo. Do you need the money? We pledge our service without delay. Eager and willing. Eager and willing. Okay, my well, army is to go back here. Without delay. And two armies to besiege this. Attack! You can rely on us. Move up. Actually, I'll be bring three. To war we go. We'll pledge our service. So these guys here are almost finished. I might actually start getting you up through here. And we've got more estate garbage to deal with. Fuck me. So I've got. I picked up two new agricultural ones. Alright, who's got just two? You've got two. You go have another one. Alright. Still got another guy here who's got a problem. What's your damn. Okay, he wants another estate. Okay, let's get even better archers. Fine by me. Why the hell did my income go down with that? The hell? That's weird. So don't forget about down here. We, since we're, you know, essentially leaving this area alone, we don't want this to revolt. So minus eight now, we need this. And I need that. This this one here is probably more important right now just because of... We really need public order. I'm going to have to knock this down a level. Same with this. It's just... Oh, wait. It's just causing me too much public order problems. I don't want a revolt to occur here. There's jack shit money coming from here anyway. Okay, if I increase my tax rate, even with that we still have issues. What's the problem? Still making decent money from from trade. Uh maybe maybe this is going up made a big difference, I don't know. Let's move on. About them. No. Ah shit! I forgot to move those other guys. I hope that doesn't bite me in the ass. It is. It's gonna bite me in the ass. The odds are pretty even. Look, we're at an hour and a half. I'm happy to fight this battle, but I'll do it next time. So we'll end it here. So guys, like and subscribe. Part 9 is next. And uh, don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.